All right, so today, what are we gonna do, Michael? Rip out a bush. We're gonna show you today the easiest way to rip out a bush, just like this. I've ripped out dozens and dozens of bushes and used multiple different ways to do it, but today I'm gonna to show you the easiest way and some alternatives, if you don't have the exact equipment I have, I have some alternatives that also will work, okay? So we're gonna do that. This is owner glasses off. Doesn't matter. You okay. need you need vitamin D. Vitamin D. All right. So to rip that bush out, or to rip any bush out, what I recommend is a strap like this. It's actually a towing strap for towing like jeeps and stuff. But what's nice about it is it's it's like sewn into itself. Okay, and it has these loops on the end that aren't going to snap. I've used a lot of like the little ratchet straps for this process, and they just snap. They can hit your truck. This is not something that's going to snap. Okay, so I'd recommend something like this, and I'll put a link to this down below. Okay, the next thing you need is an F-150 with a tow, uh, tow hitch or a ball hitch, okay? And what we're gonna do, it's actually a real simple process. We're gonna wrap this around the bush. We're gonna put these on, and depending on the bush you're ripping out, you might just be able to put the car in drive and just, you may just pull the bush out. We'll see. This one I have a feeling is gonna be a little bit more difficult. We may actually just need to dig a little bit around the root but we'll see. I'm just going to try to rip it out and see what happens. Um, and at the end, I'll show you some alternatives that I have, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is wrap this around the ball twice. All right? And what we want to go with, we want to have these two pulling in a direction where these are actually level. See how these aren't? It's all, it's all off. So we're going to... Pull it a little bit more, right, Michael? Yep. And what were you saying? We don't need an F-150 to do this? You can use any kind of truck. I don't know. I don't know if like a GMC or a Dodge or anything will work. I don't know. I haven't tested it on a Dodge or a GMC, so. All right, that's better. All right. Stop. So, now we're just gonna hook this on here, all right? It's okay, it's gonna, it'll stay on. One thing I like to do, this isn't gonna happen, but it's happened in the past, is I like to protect the back of the truck in case this snaps. It's not going to, but. We're just going to be cautious. We're going to protect the back. All right, now we're just going to put put it in drive, put some tension on it, and then we're going to see how this thing goes. All right, so I need you to go over there. It's moving. Wow. It is moving. It is moving. Yes. Why don't you just dig a little bit? Yeah, I think we're going to have to dig a little bit. And then drive. See where daddy started? Yep. In the back. We're you, were, to... you were right. What, is that what you said? Yep. All right, so now what we're doing, we're just going to try to kill some of the, find some of the bigger roots and just chop through them real fast. It's okay, Daddy will fix that. Fix what? Alright, 
So, you saw we took it out with the truck, but we did have to get the shovels out. Sun bushes will come right out just with one push, or one pull, I mean. Um, this one, you needed to chop a couple of the roots. So, don't just, you know, tie this thing to your truck and just try to rip it out. There's no reason to do that. You know, if it doesn't come out, if it's just a little bit of pressure or a little bit of pulling, just chop some roots and keep trying. You know, try it a few times. So, we come here. If you don't have a ball hitch, but you have like a any kind of like four wheel drive SUV or something like that, but you have a hitch, there's an alternative. Okay, so what you could do is just go out and buy one of these. They're like five bucks, right? You could just put this through, run these inside, right? I mean, think, I think you get the picture, and then run this through and then put the pin on the other side, so then it would kind of look look like this it's a little tight but it would still do the same thing um, it actually would probably work a little better you because it won't it wouldn't slip off I just have the ball so I just use the ball but that's another alternative if you don't have a ball another thing if you don't have a truck another pr another thing I've done in the past is I've used this it's all to come along so what this does is you, you tie this to two points, and then as you crank this, it basically pulls those two points together. So what you can always do is use something like this, tie it to a car, tie it to another tree, tie it to another bush, and literally use this to crank the bush out of the ground. Um, it's a little more effort, obviously, because you have to do the work, but it gets the same uh, result. So this is a kind of a bonus. I use this sometimes, but since I've started with the truck, I just use the truck. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. Michael, what do you think? And then what happens if you don't have that? If you don't have this, then go buy a truck and <laughs> it, this will be real easy. Or you could just buy that. This is like 30 bucks. Okay. I used this for 10 years probably, ripping out. I mean, I kind of destroyed it, but it still works. And what is that called again? A come along. So it'll work. All right, other than that, what else, Michael? Anything you can think of? No. What about helpers? Do you need little helpers? Yeah, you need um, a four-year-old and a 10-year-old. I'm not 10. Oh, that's right, <laughs> seven. All right, please like, please subscribe, please comment. Please like, please subscribe, and please comment below. Thank you.